हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू दिस क्लास दिस इज चैप्टर नंबर वन चेंजिंग नेम्स ऑफ इंडिया फ्रॉम हिस्ट्री सेक्शन क्लास सेवन इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी वर डिस्कस अबाउट द न्यू वर्ड्स फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर एंड नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एटीमोलॉजी ऑफ इंडिया द वर्ड एटीमोलॉजी Etymology means the study of the history of the world. So, here is uh, some etymology of India, uh, which we are going to discuss about in this video. So, we start from the Sapt Sindhu. Sapt Sindhu means Sapt seven and Sindhu. So, there are seven major Indian rivers. as seen in the north western part of india the, the north north western part of india is covered with the seven major rivers known as saptasindhu huh? it is also known as land of seven rivers uh, when the persian explorers uh, visited the india they uh, cognate h as sanskrit word s when they pronounce hindu became uh sorry uh, sindhu became hindu nast aryavart so nast uh, etymology of india is aryavart aryavart refers to the land of the aryans arya in sanskrit means novel moving ahead here is the nast at uh, nas etymology bharat or bharat verse the name bharat is derived from the son of king dusyant he credited with bringing whole of bharat verse under his rule due to his name the bharat is known as the india also having name a bharat the country that lies north of the ocean and south of the himalaya is called bharat the name as in the indian constitution an article 1 of indian constitution reads india that is bharat shall be a union of states bharat the actual mean of bharat is bha means knowledge or light and rat means doing therefore the one in search of light so that's all for today this is your today's homework question number 1 which part of india known as sapt sindhu and question number second what is the meaning of bharat Thank you have a good day